Now to the right. You have a mini bar, which is this thin option window here. Then you have a bigger space where you can view the options. We have navigator here at the top, but if you do not want this here, you can click and drag it to your mini bar. And vice versa. Next, we have Adjustments. Double click on Navigator to hide it. This is where you can quickly edit your brightness, contrast, color balance, hue and saturate, and much more. Below that, we have our layers and paths. And you will work a lot on this section. You can set the height of these windows as well. And lastly, we have these options at the bottom. The FX icon is where you can add a drop shadow effect or emboss. You can overlay with color or even just add a glow effect. Let's see what happens if you do this with some text. So let's write again. like that. And now we add the emboss effect. Here you can set a few settings for direction, softness and so on. Now let's add a drop shadow. Also play around with the angle like that the opacity and distance. And now let's add a glow. And there you have some effects on text. And say OK. Let's move on to the fifth one, which is adding a group. Yes. yes, you can work orderly by renaming layers and group them into a folder, like this. Click on a Create a New Group, and the icon next to it is the New Layer button. Let's click on it a few times to create layers. Now select these layers. and move them by dragging them into the group folder. You can rename by double-clicking on the text next to the layers, like this. And you can hide or unhide the group. Like that. Mm. The last icon at the bottom is the Delete Layer button. You can delete a whole group as well. Like this. Delete. Yes. Now we have come to the end of the tools and knowing your way around Photoshop. Be sure to go through the textbooks. They contain a lot of information that we do not necessarily handle in these videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Visit the lounge area for discussions and see you on the next lesson.